Hello everyone. Today we'll start a new chapter that is map. So let's start with the class. We have already read about the globe and what we can see on a globe. But let's again have a brief look at what is globe. A globe is a spherical model of art. And globe serve purpose similar to some maps. It shows the distribution of land and water on the surface of the art. It shows the art in a small form. And globe was first invented by Martin Beheim in the year 1492. But however, globe has limitations as well. A globe can be useful when we want to study the art as a whole. But when we want to study only a part of the art, say for country, states, districts, towns and villages, it is of little help. So, in such a situation, we use maps. So, what is a map? So, a map is a representation or drawing of art surface or a small part of art surface drawn on a flat surface in a right scale. Or we can say a map is a visual representation of an entire area or a part of an area typically represented on a flat surface. The work of a map is to illustrate specific and detailed features of a particular area and or to represent or present information about the whole world in a very simple and visual way. They teach about the world by showing size and shapes of countries, locations, of features and distance between places. Now, who is a cartographer? So, a cartographer is a person who creates or ma make maps. So, we use maps for completely different purpose. Some map is used for small areas and a few facts. And some maps may contain many facts like a big book. So, the book will contain many types of map from small scale to large scale. From few facts to many facts is called atlas. So, when many maps are put together, we get an atlas. Atlases are of various size. Measurements drawn on different scales. So, now maps may provide more information than a globe. So, there are three types of maps. So, they are physical map, political map and thematic map. So, let us see what is physical map. So, physical maps are also known as relief map. These are the maps which shows the features of the art like mountains, plateaus, plains, rivers, oceans, etc. are called physical or relief map. Physical maps are also known as relief map. Now, next let us see what is a political map. So, political map is one that shows the political features which include boundaries of different countries, states, cities, towns or villages, etc. So, these are the maps. The political maps are the maps which 
shows the political boundaries of different countries or that shows cities, towns, villages and state with boundaries. Now, next let us see what is thematic map. So, thematic map is a kind of map different from normal map. A thematic map is designed to show the distribution of human or natural features or data. So, these are the maps or the thematic map are the maps which focus on specific information like road maps, rainfall maps, map showing distribution of forest industries etc. For example, a road map shows the road network of an area. Similarly, a railway map shows the rail network of an area. So, a thematic map can show various industries, crop production, population density, etc. Now, let us see components of map. So, there are three components of maps. So, they are distance, direction and symbol. So, first let us see what is distance. So, the first component of the map is distance. So, let us see what is distance. So, maps are two dimensional drawings. So, Dimensional means having the dimensions of height and height only. So it reduces the entire world or a part of the world on a small sheet of paper. So while making a map, cartographers they pay attention to properly represent the distance between two places. This helps us in finding the actual distance between two places means distance on the paper and distance on the ground. Therefore, a scale is chosen. So, scale is the ratio between the actual distance on the ground and the distance shown on the map. Now, let us see what is small scale map? So, what is small scale map? When a large area is shown on a small map, such a map is called a small scale map. For example, map of a country or state. A small scale map is one in which a given part of the earth is represented by small area on the map. Small scale maps generally show less detail than large scale map but cover large parts of the earth. Next, let us see what is large scale map. So, what is large scale map? When a small area such as a village is shown on a map, such a map is called a large scale map. A map of a neighborhood is another example of a large scale map. A large scale map may give more details compared to small scale map. So, A large scale map is one in which a given part of the earth is represented by a small area on the map. And a large scale map generally shows more detail than small scale maps because at a large scale there is more space, space on the map in which to show features. So a large scale map gives more information than small scale map. Now, 
let us see the next component that is direction so a map also contains informations about directions on most of the maps you will usually see an upward arrow and the letter n this shows the north direction direction once we know the north we can easily find the other directions we know that north south east and west are the four major directions these are called cardinal points or cardinal directions so next let us see what is intermediate direction so some maps also show the intermediate directions like north east south east south west and north west so we can locate any place more accurately with the help of this intermediate directions now let us see what is compass so what is a compass a compass is a piece of equipment that can help you navigate where to go now you see compass is very useful for finding directions at a place and it is an instrument used to find out main directions the needle of the compass always points in the north south direction compass has been used by travelers and sailors since ages now let us see the third component that is symbol so symbol is the third important component of a map cartographers also need to show various details like important structures landmarks etc on a map so this things shown by some standard symbols on the map so map often use symbols or colors to represent things and the map key explains what they mean map keys are often boxes in the corner of the map and the information they give you is essential to understand the map symbols in the key might be pictures or icons that represent different things on the map so symbols are small pictures that stands for different features on a map a symbol is often drawn to look like what it represents for example a triangle shape is often used to denote mountain and a desert is often shown by group of dots that might look like a bit like a sand and a forest could have little shapes that look like trees so we have to understand that it is not possible to draw pictures of hospital or temple or railway line or a monu monument on a map because of the lack of space so here some conventional symbols have been made on the basis of international agreement so what is conventional symbols so conventional symbol is widely accepted interpretation or method or style the various features 
shown on a map are represented by conventional signs or symbols. They are important because they used to depict features like cities, roads, railways, etc. Now, this conventional signs and symbols are used to mark necessary objects and physical features of the area on the map. They are usually used to denote temples, settlements, bridges, roads, tanks, etc. Now, we again see various colors are being used. Say for mountains are usually shown in brown or plains in green and water bodies in blue and plateau in yellow. So, now let us move to the next topic that is sketch. So, what is sketch? Sketch is a or it is like a rough drawing without scale. It is an outline drawn from observation rather than from exact survey measurements. So, a sketch is like a rough map. It is constructed mainly from memory via drawings. So, sketch is a roughly drawn map that shows only basic details. Sometimes, it is very necessary. Like a rough drawing is required of an area to tell where a particular place is located with respect to other places. For example, suppose you want to go to your friend's house, but maybe you don't know the way. So, your friend may make a rough drawing to show the area or show the way to his or her house. And such a rough drawing is drawn without a scale and is called a sketch map. Now, I hope it is clear what is sketch. Now, let us move to the next one that is plan. So, what is plan? So, plans are a set of two-dimensional diagrams or drawings used to describe a place or object or to construct or communicate building. So, plans are often for technical purpose such as architecture, engineering or planning. So, a plan is a drawing of a small area on a large scale. So, a large scale map gives a lot of information, but there are certain things which we may sometimes want to know. For example, the length and breadth of a room which can be shown in a map. At the time, we can refer drawings drawn to uh, scale that is called a plan. So, I hope it is clear what is a plan. So, now let us see the differences between sketch, plan and map. So, sketch. A sketch map is a map that shows outlines of an area without providing enough details. It can be drawn without using a scale. It is a rough drawing and distances are not accurate according to any scale. For example, a sketch map of the Taj Mahal. So next let us see what is a plan. So a plan is a representation of an area with reduced measurements. Scale, that is scale. It could be Plan of a house, classroom, a multi-story building or a monument, example, the Taj Mahal. Measurements are clearly mentioned 
as using a scale is necessary for making a plan. So now let us see what is a map. So map are true graphical representation of the whole or part of the art. They are drawn on a flat surface usually on paper, canvas or wood. So maps are distorted representation as compared to a glow. Map can be used to show a very small part of the art like a state or country or a very large area such as continent or the whole art itself. So students, this is the difference between the sketch, plan and map. So I hope it is clear the differences between the sketch, plan and map. So here I'll conclude. Thank you. And have a nice day.